In this video, we will talk about how to lock or unlock your ATV212 drive. So, this particular drive doesn't have a passcode you put in here, but there is one parameter you'll have to set to allow you to lock the drive. And once it's locked, you're unable to change any parameters. Uh, or if it's already locked, you can see parameters, you just cannot adjust any parameters. And this parameter will let you unlock it to let you adjust it as well. So the parameter I'm talking about is under the F dash dash menu. So let's go ahead and go there. Um, first of all, from your main display, you'll see a 0.0. .0. And from here, you want to press the mode. And then you want to arrow down to F as in Frank, dash, dash, dash. And then you want to arrow, actually, we want to press enter first. And now you'll see F100. And the parameter you want to go down to is parameter F700. You can go down or up, doesn't matter. Down is probably faster this way. So arrow down or hold it until you get to F700. Okay, so you press enter. So right now, there is no lock. So this is a unlocked position right now. So if you want to lock it though, you go up to one, you press enter, and now your drive is locked. So as an example to show you a few things, we can go ahead and um, press the, uh, go back to your main menu and arrow down to let's say um, acceleration as an example. If you press enter, as you can tell, it is stuck at 10. I cannot change it because your drive is locked. So you can go to any parameter you want. It can show you what the parameter is set for, but you cannot change it. So we have to go back to AUF, arrow down to FR dash F, enter. I'm sorry, F dash dash, I mean, I'm sorry, enter. And then go up to or down to 700. And once you're back at 700, you want to make that a zero and now it's unlocked and let's go ahead and find that acceleration parameter again since we were dealing with that last time and let's see here as you can tell now I can make a change so that's basically how you set a password block on this 212 drive now keep in mind that if um, this is not really a fail-safe way of locking a drive because if someone knows to uh, go to parameter F700 and then change it back to zero or one, I guess they can get around that, but if no one knows what that parameter is in that huge list, then they will have no idea how to dis uh, disable that lock. So this is basically how you lock or unlock an ATV212 drive.